Okay, so there are several different ways where you can create images of your charts, either for your own records or if you want to send them as attachments via email, etc. Uh, to show, for example, you want to show your friends, your trader pals, this area. For example, this area here, something interesting on the chart, etc. Uh, you can use external software. For example, if you're using Windows operating system, pretty much uh, you can just use Control Alt Print Screen, which will um, copy anything that you have, any window that you've activated by clicking on it. Uh, if you're using TradeStation, obviously you can just go to Trade File, Save as Picture. So let's go over to the, how to save your chart using TradeStation. Go to File. You're going to save as Picture. So let's do that slower. Okay, File, Save as Picture. This Save as Picture dialog box opens. Default setting is Active Window or Active Workspace. If you click Active Workspace, workspace it's going to save the entire desktop. Okay, so we just we just want to save that chart. Uh, we're going to click Save As. You can save it in any of these directories that you like. For example, if you want to go to your documents and you have My Picture folder in your documents, you can go there. Uh, you can save it to your desktop. So we're just going to save it to the desktop here just for the purpose of this test but you can like I said save it anywhere you want so desktop is chosen you we're gonna pick drop this window and see what you have available for example I only have these two options so I'd rather go with JPEG over Windows bitmap JPEG is a smaller file um, it's a faster file so you might have PNG GIF etc PNG is also a good version it's also a good format as well so we're gonna go to uh, now we're going to give the file a name, so let's test 2 and just press save and that's it. Now on your desktop you will be able to find a shortcut to that. If you double click that shortcut, okay, the image will open up in whatever software you have as your de default software to show you images. and that's pretty much it. That's how you save it. Now, if you want to take that, so you double check that the image is exactly the way you want it. Okay, now let's say you want to send that to a friend, so you, via email, regardless if you're using a web browser, email like MSN or Yahoo or Gmail, or if you're using a client, email client. Here I'm going to just attach it. I'm using Outlook, so I'm just going to you click the attach icon and let's minimize this screen so we can see it in the video okay so what we're gonna do is go to desktop and find that test 2 here it is the test we saved it as test 2 and We've highlighted it, so we're just going to say insert, and here it is as an attachment on the email, and then the rest of the email as you. So now it's attached; you can send it anywhere you want. Okay, that's that's one option. The other option is using if you're using Windows, Microsoft. If you're using uh, Microsoft Windows as your operating system, you, every pretty much this comes option. This comes on any Microsoft Windows. So. The way you would do it, you would activate this screen, this window that you want to uh, take an image of, save the screen, and you would hold down Control Alt, and there's a print screen button on your keyboard. Press that. Now you've copied this entire desktop. This entire desktop. What you want to do is go to Alt Start All Programs Accessories, and under Accessories, you will find Paint. Microsoft. This is Microsoft Paint and once you click that this window opens so what you want to do you've already copied the image you would go to edit and press save press paste so you would go edit paste and here is the image that we saved of the desktop okay so now it's just a matter of saving this image to wherever you like 
Okay, so let's save this as, go to File, Save As, and we're going to go to Desktop again. And here, I'm going to save it as a PNG file. I can save it as a JPEG as well if I wanted to. So let's bring this up so you can see it in the video. I'm going to save it as a PNG file, and it's going into my Desktop. Test to paint. Okay. And we'll save that. And now we're going to open that. And here it is opened. That's the actual site. And we're using paint to open it now. Let's, let's say you want to attach that to your email. Again, click the attach icon. I can't minimize this window any to show it on the entire video, but we're on desktop, so we're going to look for test to paint, which is here, it was PNG format, and just insert. And now you have two attachments in your emails, which you can send to anybody. Um, one of the best ways to take images, aside from these two, is using a software called Snagit, which uh, pretty much just about any trader has one of those, and it's probably the best way to save and annotate your charts. So if you really have to do a lot of image screen capturing uh, and you do that frequently, I would highly recommend Snagit as a, an external software, which you can do, and it's much, much more flexible than both of these options we talked about. But these two options are pretty much available to you for sending any kind of screen images.